Hey guys, it's Steve and Carissa from the sewing shop. Okay. Do -do -do. <laughs> uh, and we're here to show you the brand new Brother 1055X. So it's the first time we've just taken it out of the box. So and we want to reiterate some things, but if you haven't watched our previous video, go back and watch some of the unboxing videos because this goes over some very important points. But one of them is that you, when you get your tin needle out of the box, you're gonna have two of these red clips with two screws, one on this side and one on this side. Those are strictly for shipping purposes to make sure that nothing happens to the head of the machine. So when you take it out of the box, make sure you take out the two screws on this side and remove the red clip and two screws on this side and remove the red clip. And you can either toss them or you can put them in a little baggie and put them in the accessory box for if you have to move later on. Um, you know, moving companies are never too, too careful, I feel like, with your stuff. So, um, you can keep them for later on if you need them as well. So, I'm going to show you guys the basics of after you take it out of the box, after you take off the red clips, and ever your thread stand is pulled up, which is in the previous video, you're going to plug it into the wall. So, it's just um, a cord that you're used to on some of your other brother machines. This is not a surge protector. This is a magnet just to keep a consistent flow of electricity to the machine. So we do recommend you plug it into a surge protector. This plugs into the back. There's a square side and a round side. It goes into the back of the machine. And then the other end goes to the wall for your surge protector. Now we're gonna cut this bad boy on and see what it's all about. See. Let's change sides, Chris. Okay. So same thing, whenever you turn your machine on, it's going to tell you to put a drop of oil on the hook, which is down in your bobbin area in this little notch out right here. Um, and there's also a picture right there of where you need to put it too. Um, but once you do that, um, you have, of course, your welcome screen. And we're going to just tap that welcome screen. Of course, since it's new out of the box, you're going to have to choose your language. So we're going to put it in English. And it's obviously always going to tell you that the machine will move when you turn your machine on as well to kind of recalibrate everything. So I'm going to press OK to that as well. And now it's wanting me to set the clock. If you don't want to, you can press cancel. But I'm going to set my clock with today's date and time whoops today is the fifth and it is can you hold it <laughs> i cannot hold it guys you have to push the button <laughs> we know that now <laughs> And if you want it to be um, displayed like this with the date and time at the bottom, at the top, choose clock display on. Otherwise, if you just want um, this visual, you will turn it off. So I'm gonna turn it on and press okay. Ooh. So now we have this beautiful screen with some, ooh, a new feature here. I already see something new. Awesome. And the sashing. Oh, and the sashing, yep, I see that. Um, and it already comes with the My Design Center on there, so you don't have to plug in your, or put on your scanning hoop in order to kind of activate that. Another thing that we like to do here at the sewing shop is change the machine from millimeters to inches. Um, so I'm gonna go to my settings button at the bottom here. And I also personally like to change it from number one, two, three to name of color. So instead of giving you Madeira 1800, it will say black. So I'm gonna put name of color on page one and then I'm gonna scroll through until I see. On page six, you can see the ruler and it's in metric units right now, but I'm gonna change it to inches mm -hmm. and press okay. So now I have a better visual when it says it's 2.47 inches, what it looks like versus however many millimeters that is. Um, and then I think Steve's gonna show you guys how to put on the A-arm that comes with the machine. Yeah, so this is the A-arm. So this is what you're gonna use probably 95% of the time with all the hoops that Brother provides with the machine. So these two screws are just storage position. So we're gonna unscrew these. This is how it comes out of the box. These are the same screws that you're going to use for putting it onto the machine. And it's very easy. There's a bunch of uh, notches and holes and tabs here, but it really only goes on one way. If you look on your machine back here, it's got some pins. So we're gonna line this guy up. 
up underneath there it falls right into place you can't put it on wrong if you try to put it on wrong it's just not going to set on there so you line up the pin with the round hole then you'll have the screw holes beside it and we'll screw it in. that's my girl steve <laughs> you have your glasses on no <laughs> let me check the other one too so i can see where that's at so we'll screw this one in here this one pretty much stays tight all the time. This one here, once you put this guy in here, um, we just tighten them firmly with one twist of the tool. But this is the side that you're gonna move left and right. So you can leave this loose just for a second and loosen this one. And if you notice, it has the marks etched in the arm. And this is how you can tell what size is on the arm. So it will slide left to right. And you can almost hear it clicking into place for the different sizes. And also, every time you slide that arm over and it clicks into a new place for a different size hoop, on your screen you will see the um, size of the hoop appear. So right now, since we're seeing this box, he I'm has the, oh, now he has an 8 by, or 5 by 7 on I'm there. I'm going to leave it large just because I don't know what we're going to pull up there. Yeah, that's no problem. So now you don't see anything on the screen, so it's got the 8 by 14 on there. And I'm so. going to twist this just a quarter of a turn after I hand tied it because there is actually a sensor up underneath here, and that's the sensor that tells the machine what size hoop is on here. So you want to make sure these screws are good and snug. So each line indicates the size. So we have like a 1 by 2, 4 by 4, 5 by 7, 8 by 12, 8 by 12 8 by and 8 by 14. And you want to make sure it is in that notch firmly okay and then another thing that you may want to do if your dealer doesn't take it out of the box for you in the store before you take it home is you're going to want to set your colors so what we recommend doing is just choosing um, that little butterfly in the top and finding these 10 lines here okay this is kind of this is the sample sew out for when they're servicing your machine and everything so i'm going to choose the 10 lines choose them again and i'm just going to press set edit and embroidery. I don't have to make any edits, but now I have 10 colors on my needles, and now I'm gonna press home and we'll go over the main screen and everything that's on there. It's very quick, the processor is very quick in the machine. The very screen fast. is very fast. And then also you guys, when you're putting your bobbin in, um, of course you're gonna pull this lever and pull that bobbin straight out. And the, the bobbins that come with the machine have a magnet on them. It's a small little magnet. That magnet's gonna go into the bobbin case and you're going to find the thread, pull it into the slit, just like that. And then come up and over and it'll clip right there. And then when you put this bobbin case back in your machine, let go of that lever that you just pulled out, okay? And you're gonna come down here line it up and you're the reason you let go of the lever is so you will hear this that click make sure that your bobbin is in all the way it's a it's a confirmation that you've got it in and that way when you start stitching it's not going to give you an ugly message or anything like that so and then leave your tail hanging and close that door back and that is a, how easy it is to set up the new uh, brother 1055 x awesome <laughs> see you next time if you have any questions don't forget to subscribe um, for more tips, tricks, and tutorials to our YouTube channel or follow us on Facebook.